Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy 8 World, and today I want to talk about the difference between BF4 on console versus the PC. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is because unlike a lot of the comparisons of BF4 on YouTube, I'm not coming from the PC perspective, and I think this topic needs a bit more unbiased discussion. As you guys may already know, I've been a console gamer for quite a while, and I recently got back into PC gaming, so I think that puts me in a pretty good position to advance the discussion a bit more on this argument. I'd been a PC gamer before, so I knew the pros and cons of getting back into PC gaming before I started, and because of this, I wasn't exactly sold on the idea of PC gaming to begin with. Most PC gamers aren't considered casual gamers because owning a decent PC requires a serious investment in time and money, but the trade-off is that most of the time in return you can expect better performance. Since I've got my PC, I've found a whole bunch of great games that I've been playing to death, and to be honest, I've probably played more on PC in the last few months than on console. The one game I have have been going back to the console for though is Battlefield 4, and considering that I had the impression that I'd see a definite improvement in the PC version of this game, this is something I never expected. What I thought I'd do with this video is try and run you through what I see to be the pros and cons of both versions from the first hand experience I've had with both games. Many of you guys may not agree with everything I have to say, and that's fine, but bear in mind that unlike most people, I own and play both versions on a regular basis, so I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about. As always, if you don't agree with anything I say, well let me know why in the comment section below because I'd love to hear your side of things. Just remember though to leave your fanboy card at the door because this isn't a console versus PC debate and a biased opinion doesn't interest me or help anyone else who's interested in understanding more about this topic. But anyway, to kick off with, let's talk about the point of difference pretty much every PC gamer likes to bring up first, the graphics. In short, undeniably the graphics in BF4 are better on the PC for a number of reasons, which isn't surprising considering the fairly low specs of the PS4 and the even lower specs of the Xbox One. The resolution and the level of detail in the textures is definitely better than on the PS4, and there's also a ton of graphical options that aren't able to be changed on the console versions as well. On my rig, I normally run in the Ultra preset, which looks great, and it is possible to push the detail even beyond this point, assuming that you have a PC that can handle it. FPS is another big point of difference. On Ultra, I can get frame rates of up to 120 FPS, and it never really dips below 60 FPS like the PS4 occasionally does in Levolution events and intense gunfights. Apart from that though, there isn't a huge difference, and to be honest, the differences I just mentioned aren't that noticeable anyway, and they don't really affect the gameplay. If I boot up both games and do a side-by-side -side comparison, you can tell the difference, but as soon as you start running around and concentrating on playing the game, the experience isn't much different. Some people say the higher frame rate makes a big difference and some people don't. I guess it just comes down to personal taste, but I personally don't see a huge difference and I'm not sure it'd matter to me even if it did. Now, the last point I should make about graphics is that to really see an appreciable difference between the PC and console versions, you have to have a relatively decent PC. If you're running on a low spec machine, you may not be getting more bang for your buck than on a console, and in my experience, building a decent PC usually ends up being a lot more expensive than the price of a console. Like I said though, I'm not going to get into the PC versus console debate because I've talked about this topic in detail before, but I do think that this point is an important thing to bear in mind. If you're thinking of making the transition from BF4 on PS4 to the PC, then expect to spend a bit of cash if you want to see a big difference, because if you don't, there's a good chance it's not going to live up to your expectations. Now, moving on to the gameplay itself, well, this is where the real differences start to appear. The first and main difference is that the PC uses mouse and keyboard, whereas the console uses a controller. A lot of people say that mouse and keyboard is better suited for FPS games, but I've always been a big fan of a controller, because I like to strafe a lot to help my aim. You can use a controller on the PC, but as pretty much everyone else uses a mouse and keyboard setup in BF4, a controller is going to put you at a serious disadvantage because there's no aim assist feature like there is on a console. The mouse really does change how you play the game, and you'll find some of your favourite weapons may not be so powerful anymore. Also, you'll probably need to learn to be more passive on the PC too, because sniper rifles and vehicle turrets are much more effective with a mouse, and this can be a bit of a learning curve, especially if you're used to an aggressive run and gun playstyle. Now, all of this so far has been pretty subtle differences that really for the most part come down to personal preferences. I expected these differences, and honestly, if these were the only things that separated the two versions of the game, I probably wouldn't even need to make this video. The real problems with the PC version of Battlefield 4 are underneath the surface in the code that most of us never get to see. After many months of wondering what all the fuss was about, I can now see why people were so pissed off when this game launched, because there's still quite a few things about the PC version that aren't perfect. It's not overall a bad game, 
but crashes are still more of an issue than they are on the console, and the game also has a tendency to hang sometimes when you exit a match. Sometimes Battlelog won't start the game properly either, and sometimes your browser won't work with the Battlelog plugin at all. Little things like this come up with the game all the time, and that's not to mention issues with Origin, which I actually have to reinstall every time I restart my computer because it won't sign in. This and all the rest of the issues I just mentioned might be only specific to my machine, but the point I'm trying to make is that gaming on a PC is never 100% hassle free, and if you don't like fixing frustrating little problems, you might be best to avoid a PC altogether. Now, moving on, the last two issues I want to point out are my two biggest problems with BF4 on the PC. The first is the fact that there aren't DICE official servers and that the player base is nowhere near the size of the player base on the PS4. Sometimes I spend more time looking for a good game on PC than I actually do playing the game. There really isn't anywhere near the amount of populated servers on PC, and a lot of those that are full are ranked servers with stupid rules. When you finally do find a decent server, it's such a letdown to realise the server is grossly imbalanced, and unlike on PS4 you don't really have the flexibility sometimes to leave and find a different server. Also, you can't always get into a specific game mode and map that you want either, and that's a pain especially if you're forced to play through maps in a rotation you don't like, just so that you don't have to go through the process of finding another good server. Now, I realise a lot of this problem is due to the fact that I live in Australia, but at least on PS4 I have the option of joining North American servers. I'm not exactly sure why, but the ping on PC to these servers is a lot higher compared to the PS4, and while I sometimes can find a decent US server, more often than not I get kicked for high ping or have to deal with rubber banding. Now, before you guys jump to conclusions, it can't just be me experiencing these problems either. I actually remember Level Cap speaking about the bigger player base and wider selection of servers on console in his comparison video a few months ago. Considering that Battlefield has always been a PC franchise, I think this is honestly pretty sad, and I'm not sure if it's always been like this, but if it has, that really sucks for PC players. Now, the last thing is probably what you guys all expected to be the biggest issue with the PC version of BF4, the infamous netcode. It's gotten a lot better in recent weeks since the fall patch, but I can now say without a shadow of a doubt that netcode still isn't half as good on PC as it is on the PS4. I'm talking Australian servers, Asian servers, US servers, they're all terrible to the extent that you have to worry about guys running around with pistols. I get one hit killed or shot around a corner more times on a PC in one day than I do in a week on console, and all that extra mouse accuracy just doesn't seem so important when you hardly have the chance to use it. Now, I've got to admit, I'm not a great PC player. I've currently got a skill of about 250 to 300 on PC compared to about 450 to 500 on PS4. I do know, though, from 500 hours of playtime, the difference between legitimately losing a gunfight and a one-hit kill. So for all of you guys out there thinking, well, he's just a scrub, well, you're right, but that doesn't have anything to do with the point I'm making here. Once again, I don't completely understand why the PC got the raw end of the stick here. It's just a shame, and hopefully it doesn't happen again in future BF games. Netcode is fundamental to a good FPS experience, and I think the player base would be a lot bigger if it wasn't an issue. Unfortunately, I think we've seen all the improvements we're likely to see, though, and the netcode on PC may never be 100% perfect. So, all in all, is the PC version of Battlefield 4 worth buying? Well, don't get me wrong, it's still a great game and really the flaws aren't that game-breaking anymore, but whether or not you should transition from a console though, I guess really depends on what console you're already playing on. If you own a last-gen console and you want to get into PC gaming, then I say go for it because the PC does have a lot more to offer in general, as well as it does on Battlefield 4. If you already own and play the game on PS4 though, then I'd say don't bother because you're not really going to see value for money and you may even end up disappointed like I was. That being said though, like I said before, this is only my view on this topic, and I can understand if some of you guys disagree with me. Your own reasons for choosing a particular platform for this game may be completely different to mine, and that's fine. I just hope this video goes some way to helping new players make the right choice, and I hope you guys can see why I don't upload more PC gameplay. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the PC version of Battlefield 4, and let me know if you think it's better than the console versions. As always, if you like what you see, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please check out all my other Battlefield 4 videos. I've got them all linked in a playlist in the description below. But until next time, see you later, and have a good one.